In this video, I'll be diving deep into a topic that's been creating waves, not just in biohacking circles, but in scientific communities as well, which is methylene blue. What exactly is it and why is it making headlines for brain performance? And more importantly, should you consider adding it to your supplement stack or are the risks too high? Let's first start with some history. Methylene blue story begins in the late 1800s when it was first developed as a textile dye. But it didn't stop there. It was soon discovered to have medicinal properties. In the early 20th century, it was used to treat malaria. During World War II, methylene blue was used for urinary tract infections and was even studied for antiviral effects. Today, it's still used in hospitals to treat methemoglobinemia, a condition where oxygen delivery in the blood is impaired, and even cyanide poisoning. But what's really exciting is its unexpected leap into the world of nootropics and of biohacking. So how does methylene blue actually work? It all starts in our mitochondria, the energy factories of our cells. Mitochondria generate ATP, our cell's main energy source through the electron transport chain. This chain has multiple steps or complex complexes with complex 4, also known as cytochrome oxidase, at the very end, where oxygen is converted into water. Methylene blue acts as a redox mediator. It can donate electrons directly to complex 4, bypassing any dysfunction in earlier steps. This means that it can make energy production more efficient, reduce the buildup of harmful reactive oxygen species, and enhance the cell's resilience. In neurons, this can translate into better energy availability, reduced oxidative stress, and potentially improved memory, focus, and neuroprotection. Some animal studies even suggest it might slow cognitive decline in conditions like Alzheimer's. But most of this data is from animal models. Human research is still in its early stages. So why are biohackers so excited about methylene blue? It's simple. They're always searching for ways to optimize brain power, energy, and longevity. Methylene blue appeals to them because it can enhance mitochondrial function, act as an antioxidant, and protect neurons from stress, including sleep deprivation and environmental toxins. Some high performers even stack methylene blue with other nootropics like caffeine, alpha-GPC, or adaptogens for potential synergy. But these are mostly anecdotal reports. We need more human studies to know how well it really works. Now let's talk about dosing, safety, and risks. Typical doses for methylene blue range from 5 to 50 milligrams per day. But more isn't always better. Higher doses can lead to side effects like shakiness, agitation, high heart rate, and increased blood pressure. And here's a critical point. If you have a G6PD deficiency, which is a genetic condition, methylene blue can cause red blood cell breakdown and can lead to severe anemia. That's why I always recommend testing for G6PD deficiency before even considering methylene blue. And sourcing is crucial. Some products labeled as methylene blue contain contaminants or are industrial grade. Always look for pharmaceutical grade methylene blue. And be aware, methylene blue is a potent MAO inhibitor, so combining it with serotonin drugs like SSRIs or even natural products like St. John's wort can cause serotonin syndrome, which is life-threatening. Now let's tackle some common myths and questions. Can you use aquarium grade methylene blue? Absolutely not. Those products aren't purified for human use and may contain dangerous contaminants. Is it safe for long-term use? Human data is limited. Some rodent studies suggest possible risks of accumulation over time, so supervised intermittent use is best. Does it replace good sleep or a healthy diet? Definitely not. Think of it as a bonus tool, but not a substitute for your health foundations. Is it legal? Yes, but always check regulations in your region and consult with a healthcare provider. So when should you consider methylene blue? Here's what I recommend. Work with a knowledgeable healthcare provider, run a G6PD testing and review medications. Start with a low dose around five to 10 milligrams per day and monitor your response. Only use pharmaceutical grade methylene blue never industrial or aquarium grade products. Avoid long-term daily use without guidance and cycling might reduce risk of tolerance or of side effects. And most importantly, focus on your health foundations first, sleep, nutrition, stress, and exercise. Once those are dialed in, methylene blue might offer an extra edge. So is methylene blue a game changer for cognitive performance? 
Maybe, but only when used wisely with proper testing, guidance, and as a part of a comprehensive health strategy. It's definitely a fascinating molecule, but it's not a shortcut. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share it with someone curious about biohacking, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into health, performance, and longevity. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts.